Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Fishing with Nancy here. I got Chris, hey, Chris and Nick. Um, so what we're doing right now, we're making homemade lures. Spoons, um, most likely. Yeah, we got tin foil. You'll need tin foil, hockey tape, well, hockey scissors, tape. maybe potters if you're not strong, plastic spoons, and clips. And yeah. And we also made uh, just a little add on here. It's a uh, paper clip hook. Yeah. So it's we actually like nice it and sharp. It, so we sharpened it with the pliers. Yeah. Percy tool master. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what we did here, we had some plastic spoons and we cut it off. So we just have the spoon end. And um, we grabbed this clip. We clipped it on, so we didn't customize it yet. You can like draw on it, make it whatever. We put this tin foil on to make it shiny, for more like so fish can get more attracted to it. Um, yeah, you can like draw on it with permanent markers. That'd be fine. Um, basically, all you need to do right tape's kind of wearing off here. So all you need to do is kind of get this tin foil nice and snug, kind of. Uh, like this one that I'm gonna make right now. So you take, so you start off and you snap the top off of your uh, spoon. You just cut the tin foil here like this. Depends how big you want your spoon. So I'm just gonna cut mine kind of right here. And bring it down here. So fold this over. Fold this over. Fold that one completely over. And if it's sticking out like what Nick did here, put a bit of hockey tape on. So it's it's kind of optional if you want hockey tape or not. Also the scissors if you're talking off or if you want. So you can just cut it with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the reason why I put on hockey tape is because I had more than one piece of tin foil on this and it started coming off, so I just put it on. And I put on hockey tape because it's clear, so I don't really do much. See, you can see it's pretty shiny. Um, yeah, so really, it's super easy to make. It's really fun. Anybody can make it, so yeah. really take your paper clip. Just tie it to the top where you snapped it off, right? Just uh -huh. put it, like, push it in just a bit more, like yeah. this. And then pop one down like this, and there you go. You have your homemade spoons. All right. So basically, there's two ways to make this up. Um, you you can tie your line onto this part right here, and then cut a piece of line off, tie it onto this, and then the other side of your line, tie it onto the hook. Or you can do the same thing inverted. So you flip this around. Yeah. And put this in there, so it's this way. When it's coming out, it'll go like this and bang off the bottom if you're bottom jigging. Or like just this. float up on the top. Do whatever you want. Um, yeah. Thanks. So what you're going to want to do, if you want it jigging, right? So, I know Nick wanted to cut the video there, but that's fine. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, like, three small weights, and you're just going to slip them into here, into this paper clip, right? And they're gonna be nice and snug in there. Make sure they're nice and snug. So you're gonna wanna shake it and see if it's it'll fall out or not. Yeah. So then just gonna clip it back on and huh. flip it back and tie it on up here. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, watch our other videos, like them all, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.